Swasti Puma Wasai Tai Yindi Tam Rap, Glam Monsieur Shang Kung Shang, La Hakuma Mai Ge Yindi Tam Rap. And today let's react to another episode of Drag Race Thailand Season 3, Episode Number 4. But first, you guys know in each and every reaction, I pick a comment from last reaction, and the comment that I chose today is. Garland had my favorite verse. I just wish her look was better because then she would have been my my choice to win the episode. Thank you so much for that comment, babe. Let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below and your comment might be chosen in the next video. And also to my Thai people out there or people that live in Thailand, please, by all means, if I'm not understanding something and not getting anything, whether it has to do with like religious purposes or um, pop culture or um, just celebrities or just any ism that I need to understand or just know about in general, please comment down below the things that I'm missing because your comment are, is not going to only educate myself, but it's going to educate other people that might be reading your guys' comment. And also please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and share this video on all your social media platforms. And without further ado, you guys, let's get ready to react to episode number four. Okay. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Seem, doesn't seem like they're they're um sad about it. So sorry, I feel like to be a miss forever in my heart. Girl. Look at her, she's a mess. Scotland, you're a mess, girl. <laughs> right, okay. Are you guys enjoying Drag Race Philippines now? Cause you know it was kinda rocky. It was kinda rocky. But it's starting to get a little bit better. I'm still not wowed about it yet. You get what I'm saying? I'm not taken in yet. <laughs> They're really trying to have us like Benzie's lyrics that much. Girl, it was okay. Am I tripping or those lyrics weren't as fabulous as what they're saying? I just think it's like, okay, that was cute. The game is supposed to be harder every week, honey. It's Drag Race. So to be dressed as a labor worker but glamorous? Got it. Okay, pick crew. I'll take the one to the left, please. Thank you. Okay, she did all right, I guess. I, I needed more from her. Go! To go. Okay, better. Yes, honey, serve me. I think Gigi. Oh, Miss Gigi, yes. She's doing the same poses over and over. Girl, Godlin, that hair is in your face too much, girl. I need no practicing. She said, "She said I'm ready for the camera, honey. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Deville." Girl, what is Spicy gonna do with this? Girl, it's too much. You're not even gonna see all that in the frame. The winner of our mini challenge is... Nani Sapira! Nani, okay. She was graceful. I like the styling more than anything, though. Rock Race Thailand! Wait, what? Do you guys know what they're talking about? What the story, the house, what? I don't even know. In this challenge, so it's going to be an acting challenge. So hopefully she will good, give me good stuff. Oh girl, don't think too much, honey. I would kind of, at this point, you can play strategic. Would you guys play strategic with the roles? Knowing that who can act really good, I would probably give him the hardest one. Three. One, two, three. Ah. That was quick and easy, honey, them doing rock, paper, scissors. I mean, I always say with these things, acting challenges, there's no small role. That's all I gotta say. Do it to the best of your ability and you might stand out. All right, the girls are in character already. Okay. Are they going to get them together? Yes, honey. So whip them into shape, honey. Make sure they got their roles together. Don't fail them, honey. Don't fail them. 
Oh, Mama Pal know, got the tits out and everything, girl. What's going on? Oh, what? Did I just call her Mama Pal? <laughs> I'm sorry. I meant um, Pangina Hills. Now, Pangina, welcome to Drag Race Thailand, finally. This look from head to toe is over. And your makeup looks good. This is what I want to see. Right here. Do not stay off this level of drag. Right here category is hat the way i like it okay hat the way i like it let's see what it's what it's giving okay frankie i see this this armored piece i like this armored hat this armored illusion the chain mill that was kind of cute i like it the look is good your mug is right um your body seems okay i like the way you're selling it it's very like regal and kind of like strong you know and very like stiff which is cute yeah, it's good. I like it. Gigi, this look right here, honey, from head to toe, this look is overness to me, honey. I love this hat. I love this dress. I love the glasses. I love the look. I like your attitude. I like the way you're selling it. It's over for you, Miss Gigi. From Queen Finger Girl. Ah, Benze, you literally are a hat. <laughs> you're literally the top hat. Okay. You're wearing the top hat. It's cute. It's nice. It's campy. It's fun. It's interesting. I like your hair. I like the makeup. I mean, it looks good. I mean, I don't mind it. Even though we can't even see your body, I like the concept of it all. So it kind of has an excuse for it. Okay, Spicy Sunshine decided to do a top hat as well. She had an oversized one and she took it off and has, has this little fascinator piece of a hat. That's cute. Um, I do like this look. I do like the skirt. I like the boots. I like the, the corset piece. I like the top. I like the hat. It's cute. It's not wow, but it's cute. Okay, so I'm going to need to know a little bit more reference about Siam's look. If you guys can let me know down in the comments, I'd be greatly appreciated of that. But from the look of it and the aesthetic, I do like it. I know it's something that I'm not quite getting. I do like this oversized, big, extremely extravagant hat i do like it that it's matching the dress your hair is great the makeup is nice it's very fun flirty girly feminine it's cute okay miss zippy she said girl you wanted to wear hats let's wear them everywhere let's put it around my body let's put it on my head let's be a dress let's make it a dress i like this i like the concept i like your hair i like your makeup I like the way you're selling it. I think that the hat placement was nice. I just wish it was a little bit lower to kind of see your hip, your waist a little bit to accentuate the hip more, but it's still cute. Okay, shotgun. Oh, okay. Oh, so you literally decide to give us a whole like concept that is that is that, that that speaks to you and who you are and where you come from so i do like this let me know more about this look down in the comment section because i would love to know i do like this hat i do like the makeup i do like the concept i do like how she's selling it the body still looks great i do like the patent leather of everything yeah it's really fun and really cute i like it oh nani you was you didn't come to play today honey Miss Nani, you didn't come to play for the girls, honey. She said she's gonna give you a, but she's gonna give you a diamond top hat. I know that's right. She said she's gonna take it off and she's gonna have the actual top hat underneath. Oh yeah. Oh, and it's a purse. Oh, bitch, that was cute. <laughs> oh, that was cute. It's literally a cage. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Over, over the peacock dangling down the dress, the body, the concept. Everything was so right, Miss Nani. You did that. Femme Queen finger to you, girl. That was cute. Special premiere of Drag Race Thailand's first drama. All right. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. It's going to be this drama. It's an acting challenge. Here we go, honey. How do they do? We're about to find out. Okay, Benzie. Hi. Okay, girl. There was no door. There was no budget for no door. <laughs> Where's the budget for the door? At? <laughs> okay, girl. Okay, girl. My granny, yeah, yeah. 
I feel like the audio and the music in the background is too loud for the characters and the voices that they're doing. I feel like the voices are lowered compared to the actual audio. That needs to be fixed. It's kind of annoying me. <laughs> okay, Ms. Benzie. Short gun, I feel like it's not hitting as, as strong as it needs to hit. <laughs> she's maybe she's a bit cuckoo, okay. <laughs> Come on, Mississippi. Say it, girl. Right. Uh oh, they're all related. <laughs> okay, come on, Mississippi girl. She's overacting. She's dramatic. She's bringing us the drama. Oh. Okay. There's a soap opera slapping scene? I can't. That was kind of awkward. I didn't really care for the writing, to be honest. Yes, my name is G. Girl, what? A very tight fit like that. ผมมีก็น่าจะหิวเหมือนกันไม่ค่ะอย่าเกลียดมากเลยมาเลยมาเลยมาเลยมาเลยมาเลยมาเลยมาเลยมาเลยมาเลยมาเลยมาเลยม
Okay, sent to the police station. Nine, nine, nine. Oh no, oh, no. Sh she needs to do better. Not the police, is <laughs> not the pit crews as, as the police girl. They's caked up the girl. Girl, she said, I'm out of here with this crazy family. Okay, girl. Oh, now she likes her? Uh, okay, girl. Please tell us the moral of the story, honey. Girl, she's crazy. I mean, it was okay, the acting challenge. It was all right. A lot of the girls did good. I have made some hard decisions. Right. Because this episode, it's it's the nitpicking of it all. What do you guys think? Who should be in the top and who should be in the bottom too? Let me know down in the comments. For me, honestly, I think Zippy pulled out another freaking win. To me, Zippy kills it, kills it, kills it in the acting challenge. And she also had a great runway. So in my opinion, I think Zippy should deserve another freaking win. And the bottom two, ooh, that's a hard one, girl. I mean, Short Gun and Nana? Can be in the bottom two let me know down in, yeah just let me know what you guys think keep in mind try to be unbiased congratulations to ah, the I'm winner good i freaking good at this <laughs> yes she does she deserves it she deserves it i'm telling you she has been killing this competition good job girl good job good freaking job you deserved it girl you're beautiful <laughs> you deserved it you <laughs> Wait, was Ben? Wait, did Nani have the crystal crystal hat on? Cause if she did, I would I would pick Benzie too. Oh, I'm 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 getting confused. Nani is the fear of. Oh yeah. Oh no 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 no. Nani cannot be at the bottom with that outfit. Definitely Benzie and short gun hands down. Cause Nani had this outfit on that saved her from the bottom in my personal opinion i'm sorry you guys i'm getting confused with nani and ben in um and benzy girl yeah benzy and short gun deserves to be in the bottom too final decision <laughs> okay because that outfit saved you girl that outfit saved you for you to lip sync for your life how is she, now how is Benzie gonna lip sync in this outfit? She don't even have arms. I hope she has something underneath that. Okay, shotgun. I see you, shotgun baby. I know shotgun. You you turning it up, girl. Benzie, take this damn hat off. What are you doing, honey? Benzie, if you don't take this damn hat off of you, I'm gonna go crazy. Oh, okay, here we go, Benzie. That's right. Timing. Timing, you see that? That's a skill seasoned queen, Miss Benzi. Yes, Miss Benzi, work it out now. But Shotgun over there is saying, hold on, baby, I still got this. Both of them are doing good. Does Benzi even know the words, though? Does, shot Does Shotgun even know the words, too? Oh my god, what are they doing? <laughs> Why did Shotgun take off the mask? I wish she would have kept it on. I like that outfit better with the mask on. Oh yeah, shotgun doesn't know the words. Benzie, you deserve to stay. Yeah, that's right, Miss Benzie. You better, you better show off your holy pantyhose. It's unfortunate because it's an English song, so I kind of feel bad. You know, it would have been so much fairer if there was actually a song from, you know, if it was a Thai song. Shotgun, I like what you're doing, and I like how you're performing. It's just I'm just scared that you don't know the lyrics. What was that, Benzie, at the end? But girl, okay. Um, If I had to choose one, if I had to choose one, I really wasn't impressed with none of them, to be honest with you. But then again, I have to understand that is an English-speaking song and this and the English is not the first language. So we have to give them a grace, a lot of grace. I think it's totally unfair and shame on production and Drag Race Thailand to actually give them an English-speaking song. It's, they should strictly stick to songs that are Thai, period, point blank. Like, I don't even care, even if it's a popular song that's English. I just think that it should just strictly be songs that are from the, from Thailand. 
that just that and, and Thai artist. Um, but that's just me. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you think should have won this lip sync? Let me know down in the comments. Shantae, you stay. Yes. I agree. I agree. She deserved to stay. All right, you guys. Well, that was it. Shout out to you, Short Gun. Thank you for coming on to this newest season of Drag Race Thailand. It was a pleasure seeing you. Everyone go support her, like her, follow her, and most importantly, book her. Okay, visionaries, that is the end of my reaction to Drag Race Thailand season three, episode number four. Let me know what you guys think about this episode. Did you guys agree with the with the winning queen that bottomed to the queen that won the lip sync, the queen that went home? I want to know all your thoughts and opinions. Try to be unbiased as possible if you can be. And if you cannot be by unbiased, let just hashtag bias next to your comments so we know exactly where you're coming from. And please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and share this video on all your social media platforms. And of course, like always, visionaries, life is your vision. It is whatever you make it, as long as you make it freaking fabulous. Until the next one. Bye.